Hi, my name is James Bezik. I'm a senior developer advocate here at AWS Serverless. And today I'm going to show you how to set up SaaS integrations with Amazon EventBridge. In this video, I'll show you how to configure Auth0. There are several benefits to integrating Auth0 with your AWS environment in this way. First, you can take automated actions when your users log in or out of Auth0. You can also run custom code or workflows for any events exposed by Auth0. Second, you can add functionality that is not natively part of what Auth0 provides and extend its capabilities. You can also easily add incremental functionality with minimal code using managed services to ensure reliability and minimal maintenance. Before we start, let's take a look at how EventBridge helps with this integration. As your applications expand to include other systems beyond your immediate control, you need to pass information to and from those systems. Since you don't own the code, it can be hard to get that information. There are a couple of options available. If your SaaS provider supports it, you can use their API and use polling. With polling, you can trigger a Lambda function every minute, every five minutes, or 10 minutes to query a service. And then if there's new information, you can generate events based upon that. Now, this is OK if the data payload isn't too large, but generally, it's a last resort option. It creates unnecessary load on the SaaS provider and there's also a lag where there's stale data between it being available at the provider and your system knowing about it. You also have to manage the polling service. In the second case, if your SaaS provider supports it, you can use webhooks, and this is a much better choice. In this case, you provide the SaaS provider with an HTTP endpoint. They can post or get to that endpoint when new information is available. You can use a custom authorizer to validate the calls, and now the data you're receiving is much closer to real time. But webhooks also have some downsides. If your service goes down, the SaaS provider may not know about this and may not retry calling you, so you can lose information. Also, your HTTP endpoint is a public endpoint, so you have to secure that, and you may need to write custom authorizer logic. Often, the security model used here uses static secrets like API keys, and sometimes that's not the best approach. You have to manage this API, and depending on your implementation, it can be difficult to scale. Now there's a third option with Amazon EventBridge. We have a growing list of third-party services that directly connect with AWS. Traffic does not traverse the internet. It stays within the AWS network, which is inherently more secure than going on the internet. There's no infrastructure to manage, and it scales automatically. Now for SaaS application integration, there's a special resource called a partner event source. This is a logical connection between your SaaS provider and your AWS account without needing cross-account IAM roles and credentials. So the first thing is go to auth0.com and sign up for a new account or log into your account if you already have one. I have an account, so I'm just going to log in to my dashboard. Now, in the Auth0 dashboard, this is where you can see everything related to your applications and authorizations that are set up with that account. Everything that with related to Amazon EventBridge is inside the logs menu towards the bottom. So if you click on logs and then integrations, you'll see Amazon EventBridge is there. Now you need your AWS account ID and the regions. So the first thing we do is go to get our account ID and I copy and paste that. And I'll paste it into this field, just take out the hyphens and then select the region we're in Ohio and then save. And that's all you need to do in Auth0 to push the events to EventBridge. And there you can see the event source name that has been created. Now, if you then navigate to EventBridge, and in the menu on the left, you'll select Event Buses. You can see our default event bus there. And within Partner Event Sources, you can also now see Auth0 has been set up as a Partner Event Source, but it's pending. So let's just select that entry there, and then click on Associate with Event Bus. We can optionally add permissions for other AWS accounts or organizations, and then click Associate. And that's it. Now that's ready. It's been associated with an event bus. And if we click on event buses, you'll see in the custom event bus section at the bottom, Auth0 is now ready. So if I click on that bus, I can see which rules are configured for Auth0. Now I'm going to create a new rule. I'm going to call this my Auth0 rule and then select an event pattern. I'm going to have it predefined by service, a service partner, and then select Auth0. 
And you can see the event pa pattern on the right already has our account number. As a target, I'm going to choose CloudWatch log group, and then create a new log group called auth0 event bridge, and then click create. That rule is now created. Now, if I go to my VS Code window, I'm using a sample application provided by Auth0 that you can find in the tutorial section. And this is a Vue.js application. So I'm just going to run this and let it compile. And then we'll open this inside a web browser. So this is running on my local host. You can see this is a boilerplate Vue.js application but with a login button. Now, if I click the login button, it takes me to the Auth0 page. I've already got an account. I'm going to log in with my account and click Continue. And now my application is logged in. Now, back in EventBridge, we can go to our CloudWatch logs, and we'll filter for the Auth0 EventBridge log stream. I'll just refresh the page. I'll click on Auth0 EventBridge there. And you can see all of these different events have been captured by EventBridge. I'll just open the last one. And there you can see this is the JSON payload with my username, jbezik at amazon.com, and all the other information that was sent by Auth0 as part of my login. So integrating with popular SaaS providers is very easy with EventBridge. You no longer have to pull third-party APIs or use webhooks. Once you've configured the provider, and the EventBridge bus, you can receive events from these services in near real time. To learn more, visit aws.amazon.com forward slash EventBridge. Thanks for joining me for this brief overview. Happy coding.